Hey everybody, I'm out here hanging out in my backyard and just wanted to do a quick review of my SCHF56L. Um, I'd anticipated this knife coming out for quite a while. It looked like something I would totally be interested in as a, I guess, sort of an alternative to my SCHF13. And um, it showed up and I'm really pleased with it. I wanted to tell you sort of my opinion stuff that isn't covered in some of the other reviewers videos um, maybe it can help you be a little more informed on this knife so you can see I've made some alterations to the sheath uh, overall I'm happy with the sheath I actually prefer the nylon um, I think over the leather uh, I live in a wet environment and I think the nylon is just a little better suited for that one thing that uh, not many people have mentioned or really I haven't seen anyone is that the nylon does have a plastic uh, insert so the blade steel does not cut into the nylon it just rides around in that plastic and that's fine there actually is zero retention to it uh, so when the knife slides in and out there's nothing that clips it in or no friction fit or anything like that you can see that the Velcro strap that came with the original sheath is totally rubbish. Uh, the Velcro is probably the lowest grade Velcro you can get. Um, so I had a piece of um, Velcro from another bag that just was trashed. I cut this piece off and sewed it onto my knife, knife sheath. The, so in addition to just better retention because this velcro actually works uh, the original strap velcros I, I'm right hand carry and the original strap velcros like this so that the open end is on the leading edge as you're walking around and it was always getting snagged on branches and brush and always opening uh, unintentionally so when I saw, sewed this piece on, you can see it just cut, goes in through the back there. I flipped it so that as I'm walking, anything that's brushing along it is not going to open the, uh, release the Velcro. The other thing I did is the ferro rod, it's actually holding up pretty good. Um, in other words, the ferrous cerium is staying embedded in the plastic handle much better than I've had experience in the past. You can see I haven't used it a lot, but it's holding up well. I added a bead to the end of the elastic because with gloved hands, um, undoing just the normal knot is a little rough. So with gloved hands, I can very easily grab that bead and uh, take the ferro rod out. So that covers the sheath and ferro rod setup. Not much else really to say about the knife. I know that they have um, a leather upgrade sheath. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking it's an actual thermoplastic or Kydex upgrade sheath that will be available. And um, my Carter G10 scales that I think are coming out. I'm happy with these. These are uh, the TPE scales. However, I will say that they are flexible, and I think like my SCHF9, I think they are not solid TPE. They are actually boxed in, so in other words, there's air pockets in there. What that does is it, it it's not entirely rigid all the time against the tang. So, as I'm working, particularly if I'm working with muddy or hands that have a lot of maybe debris on the gloves, the debris will sandwich between the tang and the TPE. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't suggest pommeling with this knife, but certainly if you were to pommel with the knife, you can see I'm pulling that away slightly. You will get crap up in there. Um, for the size of the blade, this is really just a miniature hard use knife. Um, I honestly feel like the grind is not high enough on the blade 
and the blade thickness is too much to do a lot of finer work. However, in my uh, philosophy of use on this knife is I did need it for a hard use small knife. I prefer carrying a knife of this size and weight um, and uh, really as sort of a the only thing I, I really carry and I can baton with this without fear I can pry with it without fear uh, yet the 1095 is still sharp enough that I can do finer things uh, notching and stuff like that so it's really just insurance although as far as the knives uh, fine motor skills I'll say it is uh, you know it's just mediocre but if your philosophy of use is also you need a hard use knife but don't want to carry around something with a six seven inch blade at a quarter inch this is a very good option um, very comfortable I've never had issues with the with hot spots or anything like that anyway that's sort of what I have to offer I hope the additional info has been helpful for you all um, I'm a fan of the knife that's okay needs a little bit of modification so if you're up to it um, I think this can make a really good package for y'all Thanks a lot.